Hey guys, it's your boy Vibak with more Marvel Future Vet content and it's time for Star-Lord vs Thor for the hero alien male alliance battle legend uh, comparison. So uh, apart from that single day, Star-Lord does not have any day in alliance battle legend. ABX he is not needed, Magneto already caps blast male. Uh, so Star-Lord is basically only needed for this day and this is what we are doing the comparison for against Thor. This is how the build looks like. Both the both the characters, by the way, are stacked up. Uh, just let you guys let you know, it's the max build. So if Star Lord cannot score 10 million with this run, definitely that's out of meta. That's not even a question. I'm doing just uh, uh, Thor in this. Uh, video as well just to let you guys know that uh, the difference between the score for both those both of those characters and if star lord is actually going to be meta or not both have the brilliant and everything but you can just definitely ignore all that because it's basically solely for the comparison and i'm not using namor i was using thor when i recorded the run uh, it just reset and we have the five star defect and everything and this is how it actually goes for both of these characters one more thing uh i found that the abx rotation that i used is still working but i feel that i also tried the you know the normal tier 3 rotation every two rotations but it was actually not working that quite well anyways i'm gonna start off with thor uh, with the uh, whatever rotation that you can use you can actually use uh, multiple rotations for thor including just the normal ones and everything but thor has been in the game for quite a long time and all all of us know how useful he is he is probably one of the best uh characters to be you know to have a, in your roster at a tier 4 because he basically has 100 almost like 100 plus stages or something total in all world boss legends combined which is amazing so you can use him a lot i still use him in very high world boss legend stages and on top of that uh, you can also use this guy, you can basically also use this guy in a lot of uh, ABL and ABX days as well. So that's a very, that's a big, big plus for Thor because he's so much usable. He is really good in terms of the usability and being an old tier 4, honestly, a lot of people also have him tier 4. I myself have him tier 4. So uh, he becomes one of the best characters to have in your, in your account and hands down definitely amazing value that this character actually provides to your account so anyways we just keep gonna running and there's one more thing about thor uh that of course you can give him a mighty or like say a brilliant if you have if you actually did the bingo you can give him a brilliant as well but even if you have a mighty cdp of rage on thor and yes you need rage you can do go judgment but then you can't use him in abl basically which also is needed for extra rewards so he basically can be used for alien male hero which we are doing the team up for thor does not have a single support in this team up by the way we only have Bla like uh, we only have beta rebel as well as the odin team up and that's the best for this day and for universal male which you can also use thor for thor is still the best for that day you can uh well not the best for that day uh thanos and of course blackboard can outperform but you can still use thor for that day and even after having that, you can still use Ghost Panther and Nova Richard Rider for basically as a support, double support with Thor. So you can go with that and overall amazing character and no doubt uh, one of the best, one of the best in the game. So anyways, we are about uh, 7 million. We should be able to crack 7 right here with this tier 3 skill. And there we go. We just crack it open. Nice. That's good. Now, uh, you can maybe try a different rotation, I'm not sure. This was a really bad run, I would say. Uh, I could actually score a lot more than this with this Thor with the Brilliant. So, absolutely, the run can be improved and a lot of improvements in anyway. You can see, uh, my skill got cancelled. So, I'm just doing this run because he scored decent. Uh, so, I just wanted to do the comparison and it was good enough for the comparison, actually. And we finished the run uh, at about 8.6 million, barely. Uh, not really a good run. I definitely can improve around. I, I can probably go around 9 million with this Thor. But we will see about that. Star Lord. He has a support. Uh, he has a Rocket Raccoon with him for the 40% uh, extra energy attack. So Thor was running with 60% lightning damage only. And now Star Lord has 60% energy attack to himself plus 40%. So basically 100% energy attack on this team up. Yondu we are using because basically 
Uh, Yondu team up gives you all attack extra, which you can use. Uh, Star Lord doesn't have any good team ups, really good team ups for say the alien male ABL, which I feel that Groot can be used. But when you actually have Groot in the team, you have the three team bonus, three characters team bonus, and Star Lord actually uses the first skill, which is actually really bad. Uh, and with this team up, Star Lord actually uses the uh, third skill which is pretty nice and it uh, comes in very handy with the tier 3 skill rotations so that's how it goes so anyways i feel like like what do you guys think about groot like i feel like he is in the key art so he should be getting something in the mid month probably transcended or tier 3 groot uh, do you guys think that they will make groot a support because i do feel and i do want that groot should be actually become a support because for now and until now groot has been amazing uh, he was the best support back in the days, back in the old days with the heal. But the heal is not good enough anymore. So I feel like if he gives some damage reduction or if he say, you know, if he can provide your characters if they want to make Groot OP because he can revive, he's like an immortal sort of thing. If he can give revive to the characters in team, how would that be for PvP? I think that would be awesome. You know, if he can provide, say, immunity, to like all kind of damage or something like a revive like a slow like a small revive which every character in the team or maybe this just maybe guardians of the galaxy they can revive say 40 percent hp 30 percent hp and everything you know so that could also be possible just like uh, we have sunbird for the warriors of the sky which gives you the revive so uh how do you guys feel about that you know if, if groots gets that he could just become easily the one of the best supports in pve PvP, sorry. So, uh, what do you guys think about that? Let me know in the comment section. But that's how it is. Anyways, this run, although, is not going very good. Uh, because, well, 6.6 .6 million barely. You need to have over 7 million before the 1 minute timer. I'm trying to save. I'm trying to save right here. I'm trying to save the tier 3 skill and tier 4 skill for the 150% light phase. I tried not saving it and I tried saving it. Honestly, I scored the same. <laughs> I don't know why. I scored the same, saving and not saving. So it's kind of weird to me that it works. Uh, it, if, it, if it works or not. So I'm not sure about that. I got to 8.3, 8.4. Absolutely. I can go higher. But that's around the same score as Thor. So, well, he... No, he's not better than Thor at all. And Thor's, like... Even if I was able to say get 9 million with Star Lord on this account, I can still get 9 plus with Thor as well on this account. So he does not beat Thor. He's around the same level as Thor. Uh, and Thor is more useful. Also, you can be used on Universal Mail if you don't have other like Thanos or, or you know, uh, I don't know, Black Bolt. So is this, uh, isn't this weird because Thor doesn't even have a support and... Star Lord needs a support. Rocket support is not cutting it out. And he's going to need either Groot as a support with the mid-month patch. Which I do think that Groot is going to be the support. But I feel like if Groot becomes a support where... And I'm not sure why. Actually, I missed Groot. I was trying to find him here. But I could not find him. Anyways, uh, it doesn't matter. If Groot's become a damage dealt support for Star Lord. Then I believe that he will be able to beat Thor... Uh, maybe comfortably or something but before double supports and uh, i don't think that rocket is gonna cut it okay and uh, mantis sadly cannot be used uh plus she doesn't have any pve supports so i don't know uh they need to give him a support uh he needs a double support you know in order to beat thor sadly it is so surprising so shocking that a tier 4 that came literally months and months ago as thor like literally he was what the second or third tier 4 of the game right uh and him like literally the brand new the latest tier 4 just a few days back and he can't beat thor and for the pvp value star lord sucks because his his uh, uh, survivability is very low so he's not even going to be top pve pvp character so is this worth spending you know uh, all your tf4 materials and everything on a character who can't even beat a character who literally came almost a year ago now so 
that's kind of disappointing. I am disappointed and being a blast male character, he doesn't even have many uses because Magneto just takes all. Anyways, let me know in the comment section what you think about all of this. And as always, if you do enjoy the content, I hope to see you again. Take care. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.